Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we'll learn about a powerful feature available on Azure Container Registry (ACR) that most people doesn't know about it. We typically use ACR in order to save the Docker images, but we can also use it to build our Docker containers. Actually, in ACR, we can run the command docker build to build our applications, giving it the Docker file. In this video, I'll show you how to do that. We'll create an ACR resource in Azure, then we'll build an image, first in our local machine, then we'll push that image into ACR, then we'll try to push the same or to build the same image into ACR. And we'll show then another powerful feature again, which is the possibility to build Windows containers in ACR. So for that, I'll be using this script available here, and it's also available on my GitHub repository. So if you go to this project, acr-azure-acr, you will find the script right here, commands.ps1. For this demo, of course, I need an Azure subscription, which I have created one here. And then on my local machine, I have already downloaded uh, that uh, uh, the script that I'll be using for the demo. So let's start. First of all, we'll go to create an ACR resource in Azure. And uh, that's almost the same steps as if I go to the Azure portal, I go to create a new resource, then I look for registry. So I search for registry. If I type that right. From here, I get container registry. If I go to create, from here I need to specify my subscription, the resource group, the name of the resource itself, its location, and the SKU to choose between basic, standard, and premium. I'll do this from the command line using the AZ uh, CLI. So in my command line here, I have already AZ installed, and before, prior to that, I have already logged in using the command AZ login. So I'm inside my Azure subscription now let's try to uh, run this uh, uh, script so first of all i'll go to create a resource group i'll give it this resource group name and then i'll go to create the acr using the command az acr uh, create so this will create the acr using the command line and then i'll give it my the resource group and i'll choose the squ uh, standard let's do that so here I'm um, within uh, PowerShell. So I run those commands. First of all, we initialize the variables for the ACR name and for the resource group name. And here, um, uh, AZ is now creating the resource group. The re once the resource group is created, now we move to create the ACR resource within Azure. This will take a few seconds. Once it's done, now we'll go to login into ACR. This is the equivalent of Docker login. So here we provide, and here because it's only using uh, AZ command line, we need only to provide the name of ACR because we are already logged in into our Azure subscription. So no need for a password here. So now it's trying to log me to, into ACR. So if I switch to the Azure portal from here, if I go to a dashboard, refresh the resource groups, I can see that there is a new resource group with the name that I have already specified, 001. And from here, I should see ACR that will populate in a few seconds. And here I can see it, ACR demo 001. And from here, I can access my ACR from, the, from within the Azure portal. Good. And we are now logged in. So let's move to the second part of this demo. Now in the second part, I go to build the container inside my machine and then I run the command docker push in order to push that container into ACR. For that, I'll be using those commands and at the end, I'll go to uh, fetch ACR for the different uh, images available there using ACR repository list. So let's go to run those different uh, uh, commands here. Let's make sure that I'm inside the app uh, folder, which is the folder that contains my application. So here I'm inside there and I have the Docker file in that uh, uh, root. Let's clear this again and let's run our commands. So first of all, we'll go to build the container in our local machine. And here we give it the tag that is that should be used for this uh, uh, image. So not here how I am using azurecr.io combined with the uh, ACR 
name. So that's actually the value you should provide if you go to your ACR from here, if you go to access keys, you should use this uh, uh, login server name to tag your uh, containers. That's what I have done here. So now uh, Docker build is running the uh, different instructions and my Docker file to create the container for me. That will take a few seconds. Let's wait for it. And once that's done, here we run the command docker push in order to push the container that we have created. So that container will be pushed into ACR. So now it's been uploaded from my machine into ACR. That will take a few seconds. Let's wait for it and let's come back later. Once it's pushed, now we run the command az acr repository uh, list in order to list the different uh, containers available in my ACR and here I have the container called it web app because that's the name I have uh, given give, gave for my container so here coming back to the Azure portal if I go to repositories I should find now a container called it web app and here it is my container along with the vname the, ver the tag that I have specified which is 1.0 great so this was now uh, building the container from our local machine and pushing it into ACR. Now let's move to a third part of this demo, which is to create and push the container from within ACR itself. So for that here, I'll go to login again into my ACR. So from here, actually what I can do, I can turn off Docker. So let me go to do that from the system tray. I'll go to shut down Docker. So I don't need, I don't even need Docker uh, to be installed in my machine to do to run uh, uh, containers into ACR. So I go to quit Docker, and once I have done that, from here I go to select those different uh, tasks. And I'll go to run those from the command line. Let's clear this and let's run those. So we'll go to login again and to ACR. And here, because now we don't have Docker uh, in our machine, so we'll go to expose the token that could be used to authenticate into Azure ACR. Then here, the interesting part, AZ ACR build with this command line, we'll go to ask ACR to build the container in ACR, not in our local machine. So for that here, I'll give it the current context. The dot here means the uh, dot app uh, uh, folder. And then the, uh, I give the registry name and the tag that should be used for my container. And note here, all of this actually is happening now. For all of this output, all of this console output is coming from ACR. It's not running on my machine right now. So as you can see here, we have the different uh, steps. So it's uh, it will go to download the, build, uh, the base image. We we'll go to build and run the different Docker file uh, commands. And once the build is done successfully, now my image is tagged with 2.0. So now it will be pushed into ACR and to the registry in ACR itself. So now it means that ACR have built my image and it also saved a copy of that image in there. Once that's done, let's try to show the repo images and the different uh, tags. So here we see we have two tags, the 1.0 that was built in my local machine and do 2.0 two, two that was built into ACR. Let me come back into the Azure portal and let's check that. If I go back to the basic where we have a web app, if I go to refresh here, now I can see the 2.0 image that was created in ACR. Great, so this image actually uses a Linux container, but in ACR, we have this powerful feature is that we can also run Windows containers. So let's, let me show you a demo on how to do that. So here I have prepared a script that will do exactly that. So into the script, I run the command az acr build again. I specify the tag for my image. I tag it with 4.0 and then I'll build a Windows application that is hosted on GitHub. So ACR can get the source code from within GitHub. And in addition to that, it can subscribe to pushes into that uh, uh, Git repository so that in each time we 
push a new change into that git repository uh, acr will be listening and it will trigger a new build to create a new image so i pass to it the uh, file that is windows uh, windows docker file and acr needs to know that it would use windows containers to build the, uh, the image for that it needs this tag dot dash dash platform windows that this is what tells uh, acr to do that so i'll go to run this command from the command line let's first clear this and now once uh, let, let's give it a few seconds and then it, uh, it runs so it will start by uh, downloading the source code from this uh, source which is hosted in github and they can show you here that source code is available on this repo on azure and uh, so here you have the different uh, uh, the source code along with the uh, windows.docker file that uses uh, windows uh, containers so icr will download the source code will find the docker file then it will start running that uh, uh, docker file to produce the windows image this will take uh, more time so let's wait for it and i see you at the end i hope you have liked this video and you have enjoyed it join me in the next video where i will show you another powerful feature not yet uh, well known in the developers is that we can host helm charts or helm repository into acr and while waiting for that please don't forget to join to uh, take a look at my youtube channel where i post videos about anything devops containers kubernetes and azure so thank you and see you next time